Hey there and welcome to another episode of GeoGuessr. Today, I'm gonna do my best to try to beat the Argentina uh, challenge. Uh, I've done some decent uh, scores. In fact, uh, if you look at my screen right now, you can see that my best score was 24,000. Almost a perfect score, but not quite a perfect score. And uh, there's many reasons for that. I'll, I'll walk you through as we start this challenge. If you wanna play against me, you can pause the video right now. I'm gonna give myself three minutes on this one. I think I can do it in three minutes. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do four minutes uh, so that I, I'm giving you a chance to be able to find the place, even though I know this is uh, pretty difficult if you've never been here, uh, if you don't know the geography at all. So yeah, let's just start the challenge. And that's sort of what I meant by being difficult, because if you don't know the geography, that already tells me a lot of information, even though I have no clue where I am right now, because <laughs> uh, yeah, this is interesting. There's some hills in here. That's very interesting. Let's take a look at this sign if we can. I'm going to do my best to translate things. Okay, so a couple things. If you if you find a phone number that starts in 03 or 02, so 03 is like divide the country in half and you're like on the northern half. If it's 03, if 02, you're on the southern half of the country and if it's 01, it's Buenos Aires or in the outskirts of Buenos Aires. So I think given this landscape which is it looks pretty green to me. Uh, I think we're like around here. This whole area is very fertile. In fact, it looks like there's a big city down there. So I'm going to go in that direction instead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, that was dumb. There was a sign there. Like I totally only read the number. Uh, maybe the name of the town was there. I, I, I apologize for that. That was so stupid. And I'm sure that now that I came back, it doesn't say the name. Um, Victoria. Could we be in Victoria? Like, actually, let's make this bigger. Um, I think there's a town called Victoria somewhere around here, but I'm not sure. Uh, Italy, 432, Bomberos. These are all like emergency numbers. Uh, I think we're like closer, like we might be like around here, but I'm not sure. We might be like there. Okay, let's go back to that town. We have two minutes and 20 seconds. Man, I lost so much time explaining everything. That was really not smart for me. That was a white sign, so I'll just ignore it. Uh, I want to see this sign if possible. Come on. Uh, There's just heavy traffic that way. Can I not zoom in? There's a sign there too, probably that states the name of this uh, lo locality. Can't uh, can't see it. So that doesn't seem to be a big enough town because obviously there's no Victoria. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so Parana, this way. Parana is the capital of Entre Rios. And I know Victoria is like uh, another, I know there's like a town somewhere around here that's called Victoria. So we're gonna go that way. Is it like farther up north? Where is Victoria? I know it's like around here can't find it you see this this is why it also helps to have you know been places <laughs> in my own country because it makes things uh, a little bit easier uh, but hopefully by the end of this uh, this GeoGuessr episode I'll, I'll, I'll give you a tip of here it is Victoria all right so oh man let's try to find so okay so we're on road 11 I think we might be like right there to be honest planta de copia yes yes this is exactly where we are I think I found it with 53 seconds to spare. So uh, a planta de copia is like, a, a, you know, these things, the, the uh, grain silos. Uh, they just store uh, grains here for, um, you know, from various harvests. So I'm guessing if I go straight here, there's going to be a diagonal road, probably that one that branches out just to confirm. Yeah, there it is, this one right here. So I'm just going to put it there, make a guess, and let's see where we're at. Ooh, I was off by like a nothing there. It was closer to the uh, produce uh, market here, whatever. It's actually not a produce market. I think this is wrongly translated. This is the roundabout that didn't have the coverage of Street View. But yeah, I'm gonna give that one four stars because you're close to a town that would have given you some information. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so this is a bit more arid. And uh, so here's another tip. Um, usually these uh, guys all like, so if you read RN, that means national route in Spanish, like Ruta Nacional. And uh, most of them point to the capital of like like the mileage or the kilometers uh, marked here go 
all the way to Buenos Aires, to like the Congress building. That's like kilometer zero. So that gives you an maybe an idea sometimes of how far are you. I think we're like around here because this is this kind of landscape is like somewhat dry. This is like where Patagonia kind of starts uh, and like the Pampas ends. It's kind of like the transition landscape. And obviously I'm talking a lot and not, you know, let's look at, look at the truck real quick. Trucks usually have phone numbers, which I love because they will point me in the right direction. This one, however, does not have anything of value to me. But uh, I don't know. I figured to, I'm, I'm probably you know, going to do a lot of Argentina challenges. I wanted to do at least one every once in a while just because I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And also because I know it's tricky when you play the world GeoGuessr and you, you're not sure if you're in Argentina or in Brazil because they are very much alike uh, in terms of the looks so maybe this challenge will will help you navigate this country a little bit better um even if you know you know that you're in argentina like you probably don't know where exactly so i'm gonna navigate in this direction for a little bit and if i can't find anything which appears to be the case i'm going to turn around and go the other way let's look at that track real quick if i can come on all right that's just a generic Swirl graphic. Uh, what does it say? I don't know what this says, but I don't think that helps me a lot. That's really the last name of the founder of the company or something like that. That's pretty common too. Are we going? Uh, are we going away or are we going? Let's just take a look at one of these markers again. So actually, you know what? Uh, I don't know why I did this before, but I can look for 137. I think it was the name of the route, right? Let's see if. Really? You're really not going to give me the number? Let's go one more. Uh, 147. There we go. Great. Um, so this is 143. Um, 148. So maybe there are all, all these are kind of close by. 146. 143. I don't think we're that far. I mean, okay. So this sort of landscape, it's also common like up here as well. There's like spots. Uh, I know all this because I've driven most of these roads at one point or another. Um, I think we're a little bit south, though. Could we be in Buenos Aires province? I don't think so. I've driven all of this a long time ago, if I may say. So I don't specifically remember everything. Uh, where is the 147? Jesus, come on. These are like the main roads, so they usually show up at a higher sim level, thankfully. Um... Let's just look at the cluster of 140-somethings, like near San Luis. This could be the landscape of San Luis as far as I, I know. 146, 143. Man. I thought this was going to be easier, but it's absolutely not. <laughs> uh, sometimes when you get these locations, it's like awful. Really, really awful because you don't have anything to go by. Yeah, obviously the 140s are kind of disappearing here. 130, 188, 205. Yeah, we must be like nearby, but not quite. I mean, this this is like more arid down there, so I'm not expecting that to be. I think we're like we're, we should be like around here. 147. There it is. Okay. Wow. Okay, I found it. What? <laughs> okay, that was a total guess. Just when I found it outside of uh, the San Luis uh, province, man, north northwest San Luis province. Not bad. Not bad. That was a that was a lucky that was a lucky hunch. Uh, I mean, I know the, the geography of the place, but not necessarily that this is where, even if I found the 147 before, like I couldn't pinpoint the exact location. Uh, I'm going to give this one uh, two stars because it wasn't, it wasn't great. Okay, another middle of nowhere type of sign. Let's see, there's a green sign over here, if I'm not mistaken, right? Let's see, this marks the name of the town, Toro Negro, Black Bull. Uh, I've never heard of this, just so you know. But given the geography, I'm, I'm guessing it's like around here, maybe, maybe even up north. Who knows? Who the hell knows? Just want to be able to find. Uh, there's usually plenty of signs. That's one of the things I like uh, about Argentina in general is that the roads have not as many signs as the U.S. Of course, that's sort of negative again. But you know, a decent amount of signs, then you can guesstimate things. There's also a lot of like straight roads. Uh, so that makes it difficult to pinpoint exact locations in the middle of uh, nowhere, like uh, like it's happening right here. 
I'm gonna go in this direction for a little bit, see if I can find anything in particular. I should have looked for the 147 National Road uh, beforehand uh, in the previous one, just so you know. That's what I should have done, but I'm somewhat distracted, sort of explaining everything that I'm doing here so that uh, you, you know a little bit better how to move around this country if you have no clue what the country is or looks like. Let's take a look at this sign, maybe. Well, this is the company that uh, Obrador. Uh, is this saying National Route 7? I don't think this is National Route 7. I think National Route 7 is a, a freeway already, if I'm not mistaken, which is uh, this. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think uh, National Route 7 actually connects Santiago and Buenos Aires. It's like the main road. Uh, yeah, I mean, it could be, actually. It could be, like, around here. Let's see if we can find Toro Negro. Uh, this uh, mysterious black ball. Which uh, doesn't appear to be showing up. I don't think we're, like, that close to Buenos Aires. Oh, man, I have to sneeze. Ooh, I'm gonna... Just had to turn down the volume for a second there. I apologize. It's better than if I sneeze on your eardrums directly. Uh, I mean, it could be such a small town that it might not even show. I know that the whole segment of National Route 7 in the San Luis province is like a double lane kind of thing. Dormida, Santa Rosa. After Mendoza, I don't think, yeah. Okay, let's just keep going. I don't think this is National Route 7. I expect a lot more traffic on this one, if, even if it's not a freeway. And uh, there doesn't seem to be that many. However, there are hills. So this whole area is pretty flat. It starts becoming a bit hilly uh, near the Cordoba province. So let's just uh, place our bed closer to Cordoba and even San Luis. San Luis has a ton of hills. But uh, I don't know, I don't know. There's really nothing here at all. This is this is the part I don't like about playing the Argentina challenge. Like not even. I mean, if this was a national route, say, I mean, it would definitely have the the markers on on both sides. Let's see. There seems to be a thing coming up here. Green sign. Come on. I have 30 seconds. Oh please. This this these signs I love. Mendoza. All right. San Luis. La Paz. Okay. Great. 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 Um. So La Paz is one. Uh, uh, 83, La Paz is here, San Luis is here, 59, so uh, there's about uh, 60 kilometers here, and we're, oh, okay, so we might be in Toro Negro, maybe it is, but yeah, but this is definitely a freeway, what is going on? Unless it's Provincial Route 7? I mean, we must be like around here. Oh, we're coming up from... Wait, so this is 146? How come it said uh, 7 on that one? Strange. 32,000 points. That was not great. I'm not I'm not happy with that. But I got the error right. So, yeah. I'm going to give that one two stars too. That wasn't that wasn't amazing. Okay, urban area. Okay. Um why do I have the feeling that I actually been here before? Like not in GeoGuessr, just in real life. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is my grandparents' town. Um, I mean, the outskirts of it, at least. Uh, is this the? Is this the road that I think it is? It might be. Um, okay, so we're in La Plata for those of uh, those of you who don't know. And I think we're like around here. We could be on on this road, this uh, Belgrano way, uh, just because of the state of the road. Because it's it's been there's a freeway now that bypasses all this, so you don't have to drive here anymore. But this used to be the original route that would take you from Buenos Aires, the capital of the country, to La Plata, which is the capital of the province of Buenos Aires. Two different things, by the way. It's like Washington D.C. and Washington State, you know. Except they're like right next to each other. Um, will these guys give me an address? Uh, obviously, their street signs are not very common occurrences in this types of area. Yeah, we're definitely in La Plata. Now, where in La Plata are we? That's a different thing. 
let's see if we can find, uh, let's go back to the main road here. Keep going. So we're going uh, east right now. So going east, we'll, we should hit La Plata, the city, if I think we are where we are. Except we might not be there. <laughs> this looks a little bit too rural for that road to be that, unless we are like on this road as well. We could be like on the other side. We could be on route, a uh, provincial route 11. Uh, what, what does that yellow sign say? Okay, there's a curve and some trucks. Yeah, this, I feel like we're getting away from the city. Let's go back to spawn. Uh, we have one minute left and go the other direction, right? We're going, yeah, let's go west. Let's go west here. Yeah, definitely more urban towards this side. Oh, and now we have two lanes here. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we might be, let's go back to this big intersection. Um, oh, here it is. This, this will tell me where we are. Uh, this basically states the work that they're doing. So, um, yeah, I think we're like ra right around here. If not, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're like here, maybe even here. Let's look for these, uh, towns. Uh, there's a Paranak uh, grocery store. Something uh, out of part, like Peugeot out of parts. There's a Leo Carnizeria, like a butcher store. Mm, none of these stores actually show up. There's like a river too, like a little creek. Uh, we could be like maybe here. Well, no, I don't think so. I mean, we're definitely like, I mean, we must be there, I think. Building materials, there should be a roundabout like this if we keep going this way. Let's make sure that there is a roundabout. It shouldn't be too far out. Let's keep going a bit more. Uh, it's possible the map is outdated too. That is pretty, you know. Yeah, there's a roundabout here, okay. So La Plata straight, Berizo straight, uh, the highway straight. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely somewhere around here. Uh, I love how this is tagged like a movie theater when it's totally not. Ooh, there we go. Um, I for totally forgot about the the time. By the way, uh, we're only five blocks away. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna give this one five stars or four stars for that. Sorry. Uh, again, in the middle of nowhere. So my first guess, somewhere around here. Just put it there, but probably northern. And let's just uh, keep going. Let's go north. Looks like uh, a little bit more urban. Let's see what happens if we go this direction. I was gonna set this challenge to like three minutes, but uh, that's you know when you're in these locations and you have to like do a lot of you know quote unquote driving. Oh, there's a there's one of these uh, road signs. National Route 12. Okay, so the 12 is like right here but where could we be 600 kilometers from Buenos Aires I think we're like maybe more like there uh, I think this is like for Rosario and Buenos Aires are like 400 kilometers apart kind of oh here's it says uh, uh municipality of Esquina it's kind of oh of Esquina Esquina there we go all right so let's find a an Esquina town uh let's just uh yeah, we're definitely not that close to Buenos Aires. So I'm gonna start my search from Parna. And let's see if we can find Esquina alongside the 12. It's gonna be tricky, it's gonna be tricky, but, oh, here it is, Esquina, perfect, done, son. So are we in Esquina proper, or let's just find the exact location we're in. Six, um, I mean, this is gonna be difficult because I don't know exactly where we are. There's a river. Let's take a look at uh, 12 going across the river. No rivers. Some some of them are so small that you can't really see, you know, the, see them in the map. I mean, it could be this one. I mean, the, the municipality of Esquina could be as big as this easily. So I'm not, it's not like a terrible guess. And there's a, there's a road that crosses and then there's a curve. Right? So here's the road. 
where all these houses are. I'm guessing this area. And then there's a gentle curve. So let's go back to, let's, yeah, let's keep going back a bit here. Um, wow, I'm, if we nail this one, that's gonna be amazing. I'm sorry. Uh, there should be like a main road branching out, which is what probably what this is. Uh, I know, I know it looks like it's not paved, but this, this could be a main road <laughs> in the eyes of uh, Google Maps. Uh, trust me on that one. Uh, yeah, it's branching out in that direction. So, and then after that, there's another river over there. So let me go back to spawn. Uh, that fork on the road was this way, right? Or am I crazy? Or I think we passed it. Okay, so we might be like here. Let's go back to spawn and uh, let's go here. Yeah, this is the fork on the road. All right, so yeah, I'm pretty, I think it's a safe guess that we're like, because there's a lake. Oh, is that lake showing up in the map? Yeah, this map doesn't show anything at all. That's awful. I mean, yeah, I don't think that's it. All right, I'm just gonna make a guess here. I don't think we'll get any better than this. I told you, oh, we were like really close to the fork, not that far off. It's not bad, it's not bad. Um, Three stars to this one, three stars. Let's take a look at the full results here. Uh, 22,000 points, almost 23,000 points. That, was, uh, that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. I kind of dropped the ball on this one, uh, but also I didn't have a lot you know, a lot of information to to have a proper educated guess, but at least this this game hopefully gave you some ideas on how to deal with the Argentinian landscape. Uh, let me know in this in the comment section if you wanna if you want me to play this uh, this challenge again. I'm not sure how many people will be interested in that, but uh, yeah, uh, that's that's all for now. Please uh, consider giving this video a like if you learned a thing or two, or if you liked it just uh, for the pretty uh, landscapes. And also don't forget to subscribe to be notified immediately after one of my GeoGuessr videos comes out as well as my other videos come out. But uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.